Hello, welcome to Academia. This is the second part of our introduction to MATLAB. So we are assuming that you have already watched the first part of our introduction, where we discuss what MATLAB is, its function, also where to get and download MATLAB. So now is our second part. We are going to discuss the following features and the environment of MATLAB. So if you would see, regardless of what version you have, of course, we highly recommend that you get the latest version since the latest versions have updates where it would be much easier to navigate yourself through MATLAB. However, let's assume that we have the same release or version of MATLAB. So as you can see here, we have three panels. The leftmost panel is the current folder, name current folder. So the current folder, is just basically your current working directory. So here's the directory of what, where my MATLAB is currently located. So if you have just installed MATLAB, you would notice that your currently working directory or present working directory is in the C. So here I've managed to change my present working directory to D. It just so happens that this is where my codes are, my predefined codes or the codes that I've made is located. Okay, moving on to the center panel, we have here the command window. The command window is where we write or we do, we do our computations. So that's it. So on the left, the, on the rightmost, I mean, is our workspace. So workspace is like a storage space that handles the, or records everything that we place on the command window. Let's just say, for example, I have your A, which is like 12, okay? I assign the number 12 to A. So when I press enter, as you can see on the leftmost, on the workspace, A was recorded. So it means that Whenever I use A or call A once again, that is that that A already has a value of 12. So when I call an undefined function or variable, so it would be an error. So yeah, it's simple as it's saying that there is an unrecognized function or variable B. So we have to declare something. Okay. So let's just say we declare or we call a character, hello world, for B. Okay, so the character B, okay. there it also appeared on the workspace. So when I call B again, it will show hello world. Okay. So that's it for our second part introduction. I hope to see you again over on our main discussion for meter sets. Thank you.